You are welcome to Open Heaven Daily Devotional Study. Today's date, Thursday, February 9, 2023. Topic, Total Surrender Part 2. Memory Verse, Luke 6 verse 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all it shall be measured to you again. Bible reading is taken from, 1 Kings 17 verse 8 to 16. 8. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying. 9. Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there, behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. 10. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks, and he called to her, and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel, that I may drink. 11. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her, and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. 12. And she said, As the Lord thy God leaveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise, and, behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it, and die. 13. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. 14. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruse of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. 15. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah, and she, and he, and her house, did eat many days. 16. And the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruse of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Elijah. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Our topic once again is Total Surrender Part 2. Message My God is not a man that he should owe anyone, he is not a bank that keeps your money but depletes it with charges. When you give God one thing, you can get a thousand in return. I am a living testimony of this. I surrendered my PhD, thriving career in academics, and ambition to become the youngest vice chancellor in Africa to him, in return, he raised me so high that many vice chancellors call me daddy. Whatever you surrender to God comes back to you in many folds. The woman in the Bible reading for today surrendered her last meal to the prophet of God. That one meal became enough to feed three people for the rest of the famine. The boy in John 6 verses 9 to 11 surrendered his lunch, five loaves of bread and two fishes. These were multiplied to the extent that twelve baskets of fragments were gathered afterward. There is nothing you surrender to God that he does not multiply and return to you absolutely nothing. Many a time, God has something big He wants to give to you, but could ask you to surrender something dear to you first. If you go ahead and surrender that thing, then you would get what He had already planned to give you, which is usually much bigger and better than what you gave Him. God wanted to bless Abraham more so He asked the man to sacrifice his son to him. God didn't need the boy, my daddy does not eat children. He just wanted Abraham to surrender totally to him so as to open the door of blessings to himself irreversibly. Abraham passed the test and today, in his seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, Genesis 22 verses 16 to 18. Don't shortchange yourself. Don't hold on to crumbs, 
letting go of great treasures in the process. If he specifically asked for that thing, you can be sure that he had something greater in mind to give you in return. You can either reject his offer or accept ITIT all depends on your willingness to surrender all to him. Key Point Whatever you surrender to God comes back to you in many folds. Bible in one year, Numbers 5 to 6. Our hymn today is Hymn 21. Standing on the promises of Christ my King. Have a great day. See you tomorrow, God bless you. Take my life and let it be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my hands and let them move At the impulse of Thy love At the impulse of Thy love Take my feet Consecrated